Well, this morning, Southwest Airlines has canceled even more flights and passengers in Southwest Florida and all across the country are stranded at airports. Yeah, the Department of Transportation is now looking into whether Southwest has actually been controlling these massive cancellations and if the airline is actually complying with its customer service plans. Fox 4's Alexandra Ronhell is live at Southwest Florida International Airport with what this means for travelers. Alex? Good morning. Yes, RSW being impacted this morning with we have about 50 um, flights and over 40 of them uh, have been canceled and they are from Southwest Airlines. Now looking at this board, you can already see some of the cancellations that people are dealing with this morning. Just to name a few, we have Baltimore, Chicago, Nashville, all are canceled and almost all Southwest Airline flights expected to arrive to RSW today have also been canceled. This morning nationwide, there's nearly 3,000 cancellations and according to flightaware.com, Southwest is responsible for six 62% of those. Some of the airports experiencing the worst issues are Denver, Las Vegas, Chicago, Baltimore, and Leftfield in Dallas. Long lines both in person and long wait times on the phone have left travelers frustrated. Southwest Airlines actually acknowledged it's experiencing service disruptions as a result of the effects from the weekend winter storm. Uh, as the storm continued to sweep across the country, um, it continued to impact many of our larger stations, and so the cancellations just compiled one after another to 100, to 150, to 1,000. Um, with those cancellations and as a result, we end up with flight crews and airplanes that are out of place and not in the cities that they need to be in to continue to run our operations. So that is ultimately exactly how we ended up where we are. Now, Southwest says customers whose flights have been canceled can get a full refund or receive a flight credit, which does not expire. We'll be here throughout the morning to see how travelers are dealing with these cancellations, so make sure to stay with us for that morning coverage. For now, live from RSW Airport, Alexandra Rangel, Fox 4.